Now 250,000, now I'm gonna get 275, five, I'm gonna get 275, three. Now 300,000, now three and a quarter, 325, five, I'm gonna get three and a quarter, I'm gonna get 325, now half, now I'm gonna get 300,000. And hello again from Lincoln Center at the corner of LBJ Freeway and the North Dallas Tollway from Dallas, Texas. Another edition of the Mike McGabble Jones Show, and we are excited to have a special guest today. Uh, who I've known for a long time, uh, CEO of Christian Works here in Dallas, uh, Rob Pine. Good, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it is. Yeah. I, guess it's, I well, guess it's morning. It's still morning, and it's a pleasure to be here with you, Mike. You bet. And we're, and we're live today. Uh, we normally start at 10, but uh, I wanted this to be uh, an opportunity for us to have Rob on, and it worked better for him at 11-ish. And so that's why we're, uh, we're, we're broadcasting live a little past our norm. But you know what? People seem to find a way to get on. They, you know, they're driving yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Or they're, and we picked up people now that, that watch our show or listen to our show. Uh, they can either do it live or they can go to YouTube or it's 24-7. Uh -huh. You can do anything now. Sure. And the funny thing is <clears throat> we're finding that we're picking up a lot of people. That, that are friends of ours that have started spreading the word. So the McGavel Jones show is, is now being seen in South Africa and wow. Germany and Ireland and Karistan and it's, it's kind of wild. That's fantastic. Yeah. Right? yeah. So just right. like, just like uh, the ministry, of course, it's the day after uh, Easter. Yeah. And so everybody yeah. had big celebrations Absolutely. and, and um, so Rob, uh, tell me, Give me a little overview of Christian Works, not the whole story, just mm -hmm. the, kind of the original mission. And then I want to do a little video. I want to have you talk about what we've done since. Because sure. I've been involved with the group probably for close to 15 years yeah. or right, maybe over 15 years. I'm not sure. A yeah. little longer than you. A little have. longer than me. Yeah. Yeah. I've been but, involved 12. But, but, yeah. but you got here as quick as you could. I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's really funny. Because I remember when uh, the ladies first called me about doing the event, and it was a uh, I had never heard of Christian Works, mm -hmm. and uh, we were at the Anatole at that time, yeah. and we weren't even in a big room back then. You know, it's like we were in a closet. Over <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. But back in the very beginning, I remember uh, uh, it was a very different event yeah. than what it is yeah. now. Very, yeah. very low key. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. we, we didn't want to smile a lot. Right. <laughs> More somber. More somber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to go back to uh, tell me about Christian Works. Well, sure. Christian Works has been uh, in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It started out in 1967. So wow. we really, uh, come June, uh, we will have been active in the community here 52 years. It was June 1967 when it got started. And, and when it got started, it, it really got started as a, uh, uh, a ministry to help uh, pregnant girls and pregnant women uh, work through pregnancies, make sure that, uh, do the best we could to make sure that uh, they were well, they were gonna have those babies, and uh, the babies uh, uh, were all placed for uh, adoption into uh, Christian homes, and uh, there was a church here in Dallas, uh, the Northside Church of Christ is what it was called, and uh, it's now the Riverside Church of Christ out in Coppell, but it, uh, five, Five men there started this uh, ministry back in 1967 and uh, walked through it uh, all the way up to uh, today is uh, where it is. None of those men are with us today. The sure. last one passed away about uh, about two years ago, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's always interesting to see the legacies that yeah. people leave behind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, Let's talk about Rob Pine. Where, okay. where, um, where were you born? Well, uh, Rob Pine was born in a, a farming community called Pittsfield, Illinois. Pittsfield, Illinois. Pittsfield, Illinois, in Pike County, Illinois, which is the uh, 
the hog capital of Illinois, Pike County, Illinois, is still yeah. is was when I was born too. So where where <laughs> is that in, in 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 relation to where something we've ever something <laughs> that you might know about? <laughs> yeah, it's not Springfield. Uh, no. So, uh, no, it's not Springfield, but it is about uh, a two hour drive to Springfield, Illinois. From there, uh, headed uh, you'd have to head east and a little bit south from mm -hmm. Pittsville. And uh, it's, you know, uh, uh, 50 miles from the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. Hannibal, Missouri, Mark Twain's place, you sure. know, where uh, people associate with Mark Twain. So sure. it's right there in Western Illinois kind of thing. So yeah. uh, tell me about your family background as a, as a young man. Yeah, I was uh, uh, a young fellow. My dad was a, a veteran that went to school on the GI Bill and uh, once he got out of service, uh, he decided that farming wasn't for him and he was going to use that GI Bill to become an engineer. So uh, he picked up me and my mom and moved us to Chicago. Wow, that's a drastic change. <laughs> yeah, a big change. And uh, uh, so I think I was like two years old when we moved to Chicago. Anyway, he graduated with a degree in engineering and then went to work for a company uh, in Galesburg, Illinois, called Admiral, old Admiral Televisions yeah. and Air Conditioners, if you sure. remember those kind of things. And uh, uh, so we moved there, and uh, then from uh, there we moved back to the Chicago area, which is where I really grew up. He went to work for uh, another company up in Chicago. What, what year were you born? 1948. 48. Yeah. I was going to say 40s. I just uh -huh. didn't know where. Yeah. Um, I'm a baby boomer. You are. I am. Yes, yeah. you are. Uh -huh. Well, you know, before you know it, you'll be selling off the stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, downsizing. Uh -huh. Downsizing. Yeah. Everybody's downsizing. Yeah. I I'm downsizing. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wasn't even, and I was born in the 50s. Uh -huh. But I'm downsizing. Downsizing anyway. Well, you know, you, you start waking up one day and you realize, you know, what you, you're, you're your kids really don't want all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things that you think are really important really aren't important at all. Yeah. And at the end of the day, uh, it's not yours. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't belong to you anymore. No, it doesn't belong to you. get to use it for a while. So I'd say downsize first chance you get. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we did uh, actually, and that's kind of associated with uh, the time frame by, with Christian Works because when I left the corporate world, my wife told me uh, she wanted to know why I was. I, in my uh, last year at the corporate world, I think I was uh, either out of the state or out of the country 36 weeks out of 52. Wow. And she, uh, she asked me why I was still doing that, and I didn't really have a good answer. But all of our kids were gone, college or married, and had their own kids. So I was saying, uh, I don't know. So I, anyway, I bowed out of the corporate world, and uh, it was very good to me. So I was able to do that uh, in 2006. And... I got this phone call from uh, a trustee at Christian Works for Children. You said you didn't know Christian Works before you got started. I didn't either. I yep. didn't know who they were. Yeah. I, but uh, a couple of the trustees uh, of Christian Works knew me and knew that I was leaving the corporate world. So yeah. I got a call and said, would you be interested in uh, coming and joining us as our executive director, CEO, at least interviewing for it? I said, no. My wife's got travel plans. I've been gone so long. So... I told uh, told Ellen that I got that call, and I told him, I said, no, I, 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 we got plans. And, and, of course, she told me I was being selfish. So I had to call him back and tell <laughs> let them know that, well, sure, I would come and talk to him. You sure. Know? So that's how I ended up at Christian Works back in uh, 2000, 2006 now. Yeah, so wow. come that's July, I'll be there 13 years. That's you know? that, well, in fact, you, you joined Christian Works at exactly the time that I joined United Real Estate. Is that right? Mm -hmm. really? Same year. Same, same year. Same year. Uh -huh. And... Um, which was a life altering situation for me because I ran yeah. my own business for 27 years. Uh -huh. So when you run something for 27 years yeah. and then uh -huh. you wake up one day and you, someone comes to you with something fresh and different and that has some meaning sure. where you can help a lot of people. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was a natural, sure. it was a natural thing yeah. to do. It, it, I was at that point. At that point. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. It was just like, I can keep doing the same thing I'm doing till I fall over, but really there's no challenge here. And, and I'm not in nearly as inspired as I used to be uh, in that realm. In that realm, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so then when the ladies called and said, hey, we're looking for an auctioneer, I said, never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But they told me about the mission. And yeah, then uh, yeah. the first year was interesting. And we needed to kind of retone uh -huh. the, the auction yeah. because it was a little on the – it was beyond um, – 
challenging. Uh, one thing that we did learn, and I'm, I'm just saying this for the benefit of other charitable group, groups, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, 50, you know, 501 501c3s, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the thing you get into is people do things and then they think, because it, you know, this is the way we've always done it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not that kind of guy. I'm yeah. not the guy that does it always the same way. Yeah. I'll try stuff. And I just remember I, 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 uh, I'm sitting here and, and I'm following uh, a gentleman who uh, I'm sure a wonderful human being. However, his message was very depressing. <laughs> 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 and he got up and proceeded to bring the room about as low, low as, as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, cause it was just, he, yeah. was, he was talking about what he knew uh-huh. and they had asked him to be the inspirational speech. Unfortunately, it didn't inspire him to give any money. <laughs> and so anyway, that was a, that was an uh, experience. Yeah. And then a, a year later, somewhere around there, we had Charlie Waters that played for uh-huh. the Cowboys yeah. and, yeah. and Charlie got I mean, he had just written a book, and, and he had uh, lost a child, mm-hmm. and he was yeah. very, very inspiring. And Charlie Waters, number 41 with, a, with my Dallas Cowboys, uh, yeah. uh, that yeah. was fun to be involved in that. And then we auctioned off one of his books, and I think it brought about $10,000. $10, was and, that right, right? And right. that's the night everybody woke up and said, I think we can actually do an auction here. <laughs> you know, we just got to do things a little different. <laughs> and then, of course, over the years, we've had, we've had lots of neat guests. Oh, and, yeah. and, uh, yes. Didn't we have Sandy Patty? We did. Two yeah, years ago, we had Sandy Patty. Kind of her farewell tour. Uh-huh. Yeah. And one thing I found out about farewell tours, they don't last they don't long. No. <laughs> Cher, Cher has proven that. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, yeah. I quit buying farewell tour tickets uh, a long yeah. time ago. They, they seem to come back after those farewell tours. Well, you know, and once the check catches. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so let's talk about, um, mm. let's talk about uh, Christian works and the things that uh, – we know what the base was. We uh-huh. know what the original yeah. mission yeah. was. And I've got yeah. it. I, in fact, I've got it. And, and, and I'm going to read it because I think it's important. Uh-huh. Our mission is to represent the goodness of God to children and their families by continuing Jesus Christ's example of service. We are helping children and families meet life's toughest challenges. If the family is the foundation of our society, then building healthy homes and families should be a top priority for all of us. This is the philosophy behind Christian Works for Children. With its foundations deeply rooted in Christian principles, the purpose of Christian Works for Children is to help children and their families meet the over, the uh, overcome even the most two. It's basically to overcome the most difficult challenges in their lives. We strive to facilitate the building of a healthy, loving family for every child we meet. Right. So let's talk about where we've gone sure. since you joined. So 2006, yeah. you you assume the mission. Mm-hmm. You're continuing to work with um, women and we young are. ladies who yeah. find themselves in that position. We do. And they're mm-hmm. pregnant. Yep. They're trying to figure out what to do. Yep. And we're trying to uh, help them make the right decision yep. and see uh, that they go through a healthy term mm-hmm. and then have the children. And then what happens? And... Uh, then we also on working alongside of that of course we're out uh, letting families know that if they're interested in adoption that we can facilitate that and process that for them uh, for instance, right now we have uh, four families that are waiting to adopt. We have four that are in the process of doing home studies because they have to be approved by us because we're licensed by the state. So there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, so to speak, to approve a couple for uh, adoption and a placement into uh, home. And being a faith-based organization, a Christian organization, of course, we want to put those babies in Christian homes. So we still do that. and. Uh, that's a you know a large part of what we do our core competency really that filters through all of our ministries which we'll we'll talk about here briefly is uh uh counseling Mm -hmm. Uh, we we operate with uh i think we have 30 counselors uh seven of them are actually staff people and then we use contract counselors all all christian based uh all licensed professionals uh, either licensed professional counselors, licensed marriage and family therapists, licensed clinical social workers to uh, walk families through because as the mission said there, we, we want to help every family be uh, the family that uh, they, they can be, the best family that they can be and no matter what circumstances and situations they find themselves in. So in 1995, just going back history, I'll walk you through briefly, uh, uh, they started the Family Preservation Ministry, which is essentially a Christian counseling center. 
And that was to help families stay together rather than uh, foster care or something of that nature. Uh, the uh, counselors, social workers began working in trying to facilitate what the family needed to stay together. And that began to include even marriage counseling and, and those types of uh, activities to, to help families stay together. So that started in 1995, 96, I guess. And then as really uh, now is the core competency really that runs through uh, all of our ministries. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2000, we started GriefWorks. These are, that's a ministry for kids that are grieving the death of a loved one. And uh, uh, helping them through the grieving process, helping them know it's normal, and uh, we want them to grieve, but to grieve in a healthy way, not in a destructive way, which death sometimes can be such a traumatic experience that uh, people will grieve and mourn, but in a very unhealthy situ uh, manner. And so will kids, because kids don't really understand it anyway. They, they grieve differently than adults. And uh, so we started uh, that ministry in 2000. And then uh, since I've been there in 2006, we've uh, expanded a little bit, you know, staying with the grief theme that we now have a summer camp for grieving children. And uh, between the summer camp and the grief works ministry that we uh, operate, it's called grief works uh, at our facility. Uh, we, we will, uh, I think we've uh, surpassed like 1500 kids or so that we've helped through uh, that uh, uh, grieving, uh, grieving process. And, uh, uh, it's been a healthy experience for uh, uh, for all of those children. We get great feedback uh, from the families that go through both of those programs, both the grief program and the grief works and the uh, uh, camp that we run, the bereavement camp. 2009, um, we started KidWorks, and KidWorks is a ministry for kids that are actually grieving the death of the marriage of their mom and dad. Uh, mm -hmm. through divorce mm -hmm. and it's a different kind of grief it's grief and it's mourning but they don't understand it oftentimes and uh, the statistics are really quite uh, not good for for kids that go through that because uh, uh, it entails things like abandonment it may entail trauma like uh, uh, even abuse and and uh, domestic violence of some sort sometimes and some uh, abandonment it's pretty common because one of the parents leaves so uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, an experience that a lot of kids have to have some help dealing with. And one of the big things of these ministries for children that we operate, and by the way, these are all free for these kids and their families. Uh, we have some wonderful people in Dallas and Fort Worth that uh, uh, provide funds for this. And, and Mike raises a lot of those at our auction for us. But they, uh, uh, the, 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 the families that go through this are all very... Uh, uh, thankful that uh, we have these uh, ministries that uh, provide this. We have adoption support groups that meet as well, and uh, that's for children that, uh, okay, found out I'm adopted, now what? You know, so, uh, oh, mom, dad, uh, they got an issue. They got to figure out how to make this thing work. And uh, we have a, a unique thing in the adoption arena that you don't have to adopt through us to go to our post-adoption support groups. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to adopt. You can adopt internationally. You can adopt, or, uh, adopt through uh, foster to adopt uh, through the state. You can go through another agency. You can go through us. It can be a private adoption, but we, we're open to anyone that has uh, an adoption history. Mm -hmm. And we these ministries for these kids, uh, where they go from uh, usually five years old up to 17, 18 years old, we we have they meet with age appropriate groups and uh, we have trained fac facilitators and of course again that licensed professional counseling uh, supervises all of this uh, all, all of these ministries for this uh, uh, these kiddos and things and second lastly uh, I'll mention that what one that we just started we really kicked it off in 2017 uh, was uh, uh, a ministry called becoming mom mm -hmm. Uh, when I found out that 46 to 48 percent of the babies born in Dallas County were to single women, uh, I, I contacted some uh, pr uh, pregnancy resource centers, which I have all of the admiration for uh, in the world because they do a fantastic job working with the women up to the point of, of having that child and, and doing the sonograms and doing some volunteer counseling and that and encouragement. But I had a lady call and all in tears, and um, she didn't know where to go. She's got this baby. She doesn't know how to be a mom yet. Um, and so I started looking around for resources. I didn't, but I asked our people to look around for some resources where 
she could get some education, some classes. And I said, we could do some counseling with her, but um, we couldn't find a place that it really, after that baby is born, and it, you know, it struck me that, okay, we got a great job in that baby being born, but now what? Mm-hmm. So uh, becoming the idea of becoming mom was born, and uh, we started that in 2017. For and we work with women that are pregnant. If they if they make a decision now whether they want a place for adoption or they want to parent themselves, we can help the ones that want to parent themselves through becoming mom. We give them education on how to be the best mom they can be. Uh, we even take our classes to some uh, maternity uh, maternity homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, schools uh, that have populations of pregnant uh, teenagers Uh, we take that program there we do provide counseling we have the clinical counseling we have spiritual counseling we can do and even some assistance uh, with the child diapers and formula and those kind of things that we work with those moms up to the the baby's 36 months Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, uh, and the pregnancy resource centers love us because now they they and we get a lot of referrals from them that they they say oh Call Christian Works. They have this ministry uh, called Becoming Mom. That uh, they've got classes, they've got mentors, they've got uh, counseling they can provide, and again, uh, those things are all provided free. And sure. so many of these ladies have no, uh, they have no family support. Basically, they really have nothing. They, they've got yeah, very little to rely on themselves. So uh, we actually become part of their family and part of their story and uh, of course you read our mission statement there we're there to serve like Jesus served and we we are hopeful and prayerful that they see Christ serving them through what we do to help them be the best mom that they can sure. be so do you do you receive any government funds at all no uh, no we we stay away from that because yep. of uh, that if you do that um, then you got to follow their requirements, and frankly, their requirements are always not in the best interest of uh, of what we do as a Christian organization. They don't. They don't always have a lot of Jesus behind them. They don't. Yeah. No, not yeah. always. That, now, that's not saying there's you know, know. Not, not Christians there, but it. They you know well, they you, walk but, a different line. But you know what I'm saying. I do be, because yeah. we see it in our education sure. system. We see it at the you know we see it at the yeah. courthouse. You know yeah. I mean whether it's the nativity scene, whatever mm-hmm. it whatever. is. Yeah. Uh, it being autonomous has its benefits. It does. It does. And that and and we rely on uh, donors to be able to do all of these ministries. That was that kind of do. a setup question. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, tell me uh, about some of the churches, because I know yeah. we have we have a great uh, group of churches that, yeah. that uh, involve themselves with uh, this ministry. Yeah. And, uh, at, and just so people know, sure. when I come to work here mm-hmm. in Lincoln Center, I drive right by your sign. You do yeah. every <laughs> time, and I mean it's just like right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can never forget about Christian Works. Not that I would anyway, right. but it's just a reminder all the time. Yeah. And I turn yeah. left into Lincoln Center here, uh-huh. and uh, and then you and I running into each other every once in a while. Sure, uh, over off of Inwood at, at one of our better hamburger well, yeah, places. Uh-huh. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you want to mention uh, some shout outs to some of the churches? Sure, that help absolutely. You? Let me, uh, I'll just give you a variety, and, and uh, uh, I don't want to exclude mm-hmm. anybody. I'll just say we, we work with, uh, as sponsors for what we do, uh, churches and some uh, even private schools that mm-hmm. uh, use us as a counseling center, quite frankly. So, we got, uh, I'll, I'll just start uh, right here in Dallas. Uh, one of the becoming mom churches uh, are really involved in becoming mom in support of Christian Works for Children's Preston Road Church of Christ. They have uh, picked up on this becoming mom ministry to uh, they've they've thrown baby showers for mm-hmm. these moms, and you know the ladies will buy get we'll, we'll tell them what the ladies are really needing. You know some of the essential basics of uh, having a baby, and uh, my goodness they'll they'll have a they'll have a drive at the church and. Uh, ladies will go and get them things and they'll have a big shower throw a shower for them yeah, well, they've done it at their church we've done it at our facility across the street over here and uh, um, uh, you know they've really uh, latched onto that another uh, another church that's uh, really uh, supportive of, uh, of Christian works both the adoption process and the becoming mom and grief works and others is uh, East Ridge Church Christ all, all the way out in Rockwall you mm-hmm. know we start out east out there 
Um, going west, Goodness uh, Gateway out in South Lake is a is a, a sponsor for uh, uh, counseling ministry. Their members, uh, of course, there is a Gateway Branch uh, Church too that's not too far from where we're at here. So, uh, and they use us for as, again a, a, as a counseling center. And we'll hold a grief seminar out at their South Lake campus uh, every summer. We hold one in June, and they'll. And still have uh, 60, 80 people that will come to, to come to that seminar. Uh, going on, uh, you know, up north, um, we've got uh, McDermott Road Church of Christ. We got the uh, 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 Christ Church Plano, the uh, Anglican Church up there that supports us, and again, counseling for their members. Mm-hmm. All the way down south into Ellis County. Uh, I'm trying to give you a lot of geography here. Uh, well, and, and I did, and then I didn't prep you and, uh-huh. and on what I was going to ask you. Yeah. I kind of like being spontaneous, and at the well, same sure. time, yeah. you know, there there's a lot of other people too. Oh yeah, and and and, yeah. and, and you know, a lot of times, at, especially at these auctions that we do, and we only we do the major mm-hmm. one once a year, um, usually uh, at one of the major hotels, and there's always an anonymous donor. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that just don't want any attention right, and right. really don't care if anybody knows they yeah. have seven dollars or not right. <laughs> yeah. but we give everybody a chance uh sure do. To, to be involved so yeah, you sure do yeah and actually the, the the donor base that we have is as important as the churches and uh, the private schools providing counseling uh, through sponsorship programs for their students families um the most of the the donations come and you just hit it are our, our, our from individuals mm-hmm. we, we do get a few grants every year but uh you see it at the auction how many individual people just will you know raise their hand for a ten thousand yeah. dollar thing or all the way down to a one hundred dollar thing because we want everybody to feel that sure. they're important to christian works for children and can participate so uh you know it's a uh, uh it, it's a wonderful experience because uh, most of those donations come from individual people mm-hmm. yeah um yeah, you know, we, we started out doing just the live auction. You had mm-hmm. a silent auction, which was which is always seems humongous. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and we've had and we've had some really inspirational um, um, performers. Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. when you think about the variety we've had, it's yeah. it's it yeah. it's all over the place. Yeah, it is. But it's a very entertaining night. Um, and and I'm going to get to that as we wrap up. I want to talk mm-hmm. about something that you've got coming up tomorrow yeah uh and then uh talk about our event in september i want to touch on that and you know the great thing the the relationship got even stronger for me about three or four years ago Mm -hmm. when i came over to you came and visited i did and and i got to visit and get to and i made the comment uh even at the auction how Mm -hmm. coming to the and i and i do this with most groups i mean if i it doesn't matter who i'm i'm working for to help raise funds yeah i like to go to the campus or i like to go to the school or i like to go to the church wherever Mm -hmm. wherever they're doing the and it's really ministry even even just schools yeah yeah. It is a ministry. It's just different, mm-hmm. especially the private schools. Yeah. Like as you well know, some right. of the ones we're we're kind of ta- alluding to. Mm-hmm. Um, teachers are ministers. Yeah, yeah. And you just better get the right ones. <laughs> this is you know? true. Yeah, yeah. That's for tell sure. me, tell me. I, I know uh, Carol, Polly, and I have been friends now for a yeah. long time. She's yeah. kind of one that drug me in. Uh-huh. I remember one year is really, uh, you know. I was a huge fan, and I think this was before you came along. I was a huge fan of Art Linkletter. Yeah. And so Art, oh, yeah. Art Linkletter, you know, kids say the darndest things. Yeah. And he uh, he was just terrific. And he was just like everybody's dad. Uh-huh. You know, then he became everybody's grandfather. But Art <laughs> Linkletter, for those that and, – and no one of the new generation has a clue who Art Linkletter no. is. So you can go to YouTube yeah. and look up Art Linkletter. But Art Linkletter was a celebrity – that uh, he he had kids on his shows, and they'd ask kids questions, and kids would say the darndest things, darndest. and that was that was the hook yeah. on the show. Yeah. And so uh, they made the announcement that Art Linkletter was going to be our guest, and uh, at Christian Works, and I was so excited. I mean, I've probably uh-huh. never been more excited in my whole life. Okay, <laughs> and so and then guess what. Yeah, Art got it's sick. sick. Yeah. Yep. And Art missed the plane. Actually, he missed the plane. Uh-huh. He'd been sick or been not well, and but it, his, 
he had been like pretty ill yeah and then his wife called i think carol yeah. and, and yeah. said uh art's art's not gonna make it and I, she did, she and i just had this conversation about six weeks uh probably six months ago uh, and she was telling me the story about how art's wife uh called and said i'm sorry but art's not going to get there and she's like yeah right she thought they were kidding, <laughs> kidding. she thought somebody was playing a prank on her and it's like yeah right okay now, now what's next and she goes, no i'm serious he's not going to be there and this is like two o'clock in the afternoon yeah and they're scrambling to find a guest speaker and all that which they did yeah uh but you know that just shows you how some of these fundraising auctions things yeah. things happen they do and yeah. you can't always predict everything which also kind of makes them special too because it's like you remember when uh but unfortunately uh, art passed away before uh -huh. we could get him back to, to yeah. actually appear again yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so i was yeah. bummed but you know the show the show, <laughs> show goes, went on the show goes on <laughs> and we had to and then really the emotional tug that comes along with the people that are affected by christian works that come to yeah. the event and right. then are willing to get up and give testimony yep. and tell their story. And most of the time, uh, either they have tears in their eyes or everybody in the crowd does. Uh, sure. And yeah. so um, yeah. uh, let's, uh, my producer, I think is ready to share a, a, a very short video. And, and, and oh, yeah. if you really want to know about Christian works, you can, you can go to the website and I'm assuming it's. It's christian-works.org. Yeah. christian dash works. works. Dot org. org. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're just look, cruising on Google, uh, Christian Works is all one word, mm -hmm. and, uh, capital C, and then Works is a capital. Right. And you can you can find videos and all kinds of uh, support information and right. how to donate, how to participate, how to volunteer. If you have special skills, mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of opportunities for people. Um, great, great opportunities you know, to volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a Christian out there and you want to help out and you've got you got time on your hands and you're a believer, uh, it, I highly, highly recommend Christian Works. And we're going to talk about some more stuff, but let's hit the video real yeah. pretty yeah. uh, pretty powerful yeah it would be us yeah that yeah, you yeah. so tell me about the Fort Worth campus yeah Fort Worth we uh, we got to open that in uh, actually October of 2017 and uh, uh, we were thrilled to be able to do that because uh, it, we, we did a lot of market research uh, looking to where we could uh, take the Lord's ministries and help families uh, in even a broader geographic uh, area and uh, Fort Worth looked like it needed uh, the kinds of ministries and types of ministries that we provided so uh, uh, went to the board and said here's a here's an area that uh, uh, would really welcome us and because we had a lot of input from people uh, to uh, come on over to Fort Worth and bring these ministries over here uh, John Scott in particular a friend of mine that uh, used to live in Garland, Texas, and now he's in Burleson, but he said we need to get uh, this kind of ministry in Fort Worth. So um, board agreed, and uh, 
after lease negotiations and all of the, the build out for all of our special rooms i don't know if you can see on the video there that, that these rooms that the kids meet meet in one that you sat in well, over here across the street a few years back are all specially designed we got a castle room for little kids we got a jungle room for middle kids we got a teenage room for teenagers and uh, uh, we had to get all of that kind of work done. We got an art therapy room. We got a play therapy room and then and normal counseling rooms for uh, adults as well because we work with a lot of adults. So uh, uh, we were able to start in uh, October 2017. And now we, we started with counseling. Then we got our Kid Works program for kids in divorce going on over there in 2018. And in the summer of 2018, we started our Grief Works program for kids grieving the death of a loved one over there. So, and they're all going strong uh, at this time of year here in 2019. We find oh, somewhere between about 10 new clients every week in Fort Worth. And um, they come from everywhere. We do have a number of uh, schools and churches over there that are sponsors too. They send their members or, or their student families uh, uh, there for counseling should they need it. And um, uh, we provide that over there as well. But um, uh, we got our group support uh, going on over there as well. And Becoming Mom is over there. Um, uh, matter of fact, I think we had like 14 ladies that uh, used the Becoming Mom ministry in the month of uh, March So uh, mm -hmm. over there. So it's getting uh, well known. It's being well received. Fort Worth ISD. I, I, you know, we are a Christian organization, but most of our referrals come from public schools. I, I Dallas, DISD, GI Garland, Mesquite, Plano. All of them. All of them. Uh, because they know what we do and they know we're there just to help people where we're, we're, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a, a Bible class or anything like that yep. that people are going to get in, in trouble with, I guess. When, uh, But it's uh, we're there to help the families that come, any family. It doesn't matter who they are. We're going to help any family that, that comes. So we're, uh, uh, we've got people over at Fort Worth, uh, meeting with Fort Worth ISD today at our location yeah. in Fort Worth. Yeah. That's where Carol is at. Well, I know. I called morning. him. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. talked this morning. morning. Yeah. Um, well, it was interesting. Uh, you never know who you're going to meet at these uh, events. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the one thing I've learned uh, over the last 40-something years of doing these types of uh, fundraising events and interaction with with Christian groups and and all types of groups. I work yeah. with lots of just like you guys. Yeah. I work with lots of different people that live a lot of different ways and do a lot of different things. And I remember very early on, I um, a young man walked up to me and he's a grown man and uh, married when he was with his wife. Uh -huh. and, and he says, do you remember me? This is before you came along. And I and he looked familiar, but he, you know, he was grown mm -hmm. and, I, and I had known him when he was about uh, in high school, yeah. When he was in high school, and he said, "My name is Ken Royster," and I said, <sighs> uh, "And he, when I first got into radio, which is this is pretty much what we're talking about, right. he uh, he started working at the radio station when he was in high school in uh, Bowie, Texas. In he Bowie. was a proud Bowie rabbit, <laughs> 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 but Ken was a nice kid, uh, and he was just one. He, I, I think, his dad ran the TG and Y store in Bowie, Texas. Right? I don't know why I remember yeah. these things, but you know, I can can't tell you where my keys are, but I can tell you what <laughs> happened in 1981. <laughs> but anyway, it was very. Um, it was very satisfying to see yeah. him there because I thought he was a great kid then and he's a great man now mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's carried himself well yeah so. yeah you know he served on the board of trustees for a few years no Ken did. really yeah 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 well you know good people do good they things. do they do good yeah. things yeah you have any other final thoughts before we sign out well uh I want to mention our our grief works community grief works event that happens tomorrow night mm -hmm. at uh, the gatehouse over in grapevine we're going to be, they've been graciously uh, allowed us to use the Washington Community Center there at their place. And uh, we got Dr. Ken Doka coming in from uh, Connecticut to uh, speak to those families that are grieving the loss of uh, someone and um, a friend, family, whatever. And uh, you're welcome to come. There's no charge. It's just free. And these are some of the things that uh, our donor base allows us to do for for uh, the community. So that's happening uh, tomorrow night. And uh, 
So what uh, if they're interested Starting in this? Starting at 7, they can go to christian-works.org. Okay. And actually, you can register to come. Uh, there is a professional day following that uh, does have a charge because we give CEUs and that. But uh, mm-hmm. the event tomorrow night, Tuesday night, uh, is free. And uh, we can thank Gatehouse and Christian Works. Liberty Capital Bank is helping sponsor that. So... Uh, we've got, uh, again, uh, Sparkman Funeral Home is helping to sponsor that. So we've got some uh, people in the community working with us to uh, mm-hmm. bring some uh, education and relief that grief is normal, mourning is normal, and we want you to do it healthy in a healthy fashion. So that's happening tomorrow night. We'll, uh, yeah. We will spread the word on that, yeah. too, as well. And yeah. I mentioned prior to the show, I said, well, because you mentioned this to me, and, and we, um, we actually have a United Real Estate office in downtown Grapevine yeah. that is yeah. operated by Brenda Cole. Brenda's been on the show before and as talked she, about her yeah. relationship yeah. here, and she, she works with us uh, in all areas. She runs that right. office. She right. runs the Fort Worth office uh-huh. and then also is assisting in in uh, managing houston right now oh, super. but um, uh, we'll make sure that her office is aware of it and then uh, right yeah right and so that's a kind of a center point sure. for us yeah. and and uh, you know grapevine's a neat town yeah very, it's, very, it's very, very centrally located for is. lots of folks but we and we are grateful for gatehouse to allow us to use it because now that we're pretty active in Fort Worth and Dallas. It's a much more central location that people from sure. both Tarrant and Dallas County can get there a little bit more conveniently. We are having, let me mention this, uh, Mike, we're not doing an auction, but we are having a lunch in Fort Worth. It's mm-hmm. a uh, sponsor fundraising lunch and uh, Emily Jones, the, the color uh, person for the Texas Rangers that's on the field, she's going to speak cool. uh, at that. And uh, uh, that's going to be at the uh, Novo, uh, NOAA, I'm sorry, no uh, venue over in Fort Worth, and uh, uh, it's free, Mm -hmm. uh, but you need to go to christian-works.org, and you can find out about that event. Uh, It's free, but it is a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. We're going to ask for some help. Bring some money. Yeah, from some Tarrant County folks and do that. Let me mention one more thing. Our summer bereavement camp is coming up, and we still have a couple of spots open. We do this in uh, July. It'll be um, uh, July 23-24, I believe. That, no, 1921, 19 through the 21 this year in July. And uh, that's our Camp Aaron's a Bereavement Camp, and you can uh, sign up, uh, make application for that also on christian-works.org. So you'll find all the uh, uh, links to all of these things. Now, on, uh, now, where is this camp located? It's at a Camp Akiva out in East Texas, oh. uh, by Point, Texas. Nice. That's out there. I know where Point yeah, Texas is. Yeah, you know where Point, Texas sure. is. Well, uh, Camp Akiva is out there by Point. It's probably four miles into the wilderness from Point, but uh, it's it's uh, out there. And uh, we'll have, uh, last year we had almost 100 kids out there and 70 volunteers. Speaking of volunteer opportunities, mm-hmm. uh, there, there's one that we use yeah. lots of volunteers for that. Got one. two things I want to do too before sure. we jump off. Um, Michelle Tucker yeah. has been uh, kind of our auction coordinator yeah. and does a fantastic job. And I just wanted to do a shout out to Michelle because uh, she has been a big part of the auction for me. Yeah. Most organized woman I've ever dealt with. <laughs> and kind of, kind of used to rule with an iron <laughs> fist, you know, and I'd go, man, she's tough. Uh, and uh, come to find out she's really not so tough after yeah, all. She's, she's, just, good. she's just really good at um, making things happen and yeah. staying on time. Staying and on let time. me tell you yeah. something, that's yeah. a big part of doing an auction, <laughs> oh, is staying yes. on time. And if, I tell you, Michelle, she, she's not gonna be on top of you. Yeah. So anyway, I wanna do a special yeah. shout out because yeah. she's been helping me a long time. Yeah. And then I want you to talk about the auction. Yeah, that but, auction will be uh, yeah. coming up September uh, 28th. It's the last Saturday in September. It'll be at the Omni this year. And uh, we wanna invite uh, people to uh, Put that, save that date, put it down, and come on out. You'll be, be able to hear Mike auction off some things, and uh, uh, you'll have some. We, we we can't disclose our our guest entertainment uh, this year yet, but uh, that's about to be finalized. But as Mike said, we've had Sandy Patty, Stephen Curtis Chapman. We've, we've had a lot of uh, uh, really talented uh, Christian uh, entertainers. So uh, you will have a good uh, show, and uh, you will learn a lot about Christian Works for Children. You'll, we will usually have a video and uh, that you get to meet people that we've helped, uh, some of the uh, people that the Lord has sent to us to uh, assist them in whatever circumstances they're in. Yeah. So that'll be at the Omni, September 28th. The doors open at 6 o'clock. We'd love to have 
as many people yeah. as we can. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you have sponsorship opportunities or we not. We do. We do. But uh, I, uh, it's really interesting the relationship I've had with Christian Works because it's not just the organization, but it's the people behind it, like yourself and and like uh, Miss Polly and people like that. It's become a love. Uh-huh. And so we've kind of we've kind of gotten to the point in our relationship that you guys call me and say, "Can you do it on this date?" That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> I try to make sure that I'm going to be available. So yeah. it's um, it, it's always. And you're also a group that I like to tell stories about. Oh, that's good. And, we and got a lot of stories. You got there, stories, there, and it's a but stories. it's a great way to yeah. introduce fundraising to people that have either haven't done it before right. or, or they're anxious about it and they don't feel comfortable and they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And so to be able to use Christian works uh, for children as, a, as an example of a shining light that started here and has progressed yeah. and look where we are today. Yeah. So, yeah. We and, do you're, <laughs> and you're a big part of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a key. You. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate and, that. and you also serve with other boards and help other ministries mm-hmm. as well. So yeah. I appreciate that very yeah. much. Uh, well, look, you. Rob Pine, CEO, Christian works. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. I'm Thank glad you, I had a chance to uh, promote your uh, ministry and your work and the good things it. that you guys are doing. And uh, it's a great segment. I enjoyed it very much. Right. I enjoyed being here, Mike, and thank you for uh, having me over. I you bet. It. All right. Thank you. So on behalf of everyone here at Lincoln Center uh, at the corner of LBJ Freeway and the Dallas North Tollway, uh, at Lincoln Center, it's the center of the universe, of course. And we are so glad that you joined us today. We look forward to having uh, another great show coming up shortly. And uh, on behalf of everyone that's part of this one, God bless. We'll see you next time.